Hey, welcome back. If it's your first time here, consider subscribing. So, I've been working on a way I can water cool this here mini PC. It's got this cute little atom processor on it that during my benchmarks on it, it was uh, thermal throttling uh, quite heavily. So I want to see what kind of performance it would have if thermal throttling uh, wasn't a problem. So on a ultra budget, I was trying to see what I could come up with. And what I got here is some cooling hose. I got my coffee pot for my uh, reservoir tank. I got a $12 fish tank pump, a chipset water block, and an unused mouse trap. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can get this crazy thing put together without me destroying it or breaking it. So, <laughs> all right guys, let's get this crazy experiment started. All right, so the mouse trap. <laughs> it's basically came up with an idea on way to mount the motherboard so I can try to mount the cooling block so and I got some zip ties here let's see if we can do this necessary but uh <laughs> that might work Nice sound effects. <laughs> nah, be alright. <laughs> All right, well, don't know if it'll work, but it's a nice start. Gaskets will hold. It's kind of a little bit in the way with the uh, zip tie. We may have a little <laughs> watery blocky. All right, time for the fish tank pump. See how long a hose we need. Probably want this in here. This out here. What's in my room? All right. 
to see if I can get that on there. Hmm. Yep. That'll work. All right, you guys may have noticed and be wondering that there's no radiator. <laughs> well, I didn't have anything in the budget for a radiator, but I don't plan on running this for so long. So my idea is a little bit of ice cubes <laughs> in my little coffee pot will hopefully keep things cool enough to run some benchmarks so we'll see what happens <laughs> all right let's go get some ice and some water all right we're going to check it for leaks see if it works and also make sure that this thing doesn't get into the audio in some sort of weird way Alright, this is going to be a little, I hope I don't make a disastrous mess. <laughs> Ooh. She's working beautifully. Hopefully this won't be too cold either and cause condensation on me. But, she appears to be running perfectly sweet all right let's plug this thing in see what happens check boy she's seriously moved some water all right let's plug it in huh <laughs> It booted up. I can't believe it booted up. Ooh, it's got some weird artifacts on the screen. Hey. I'm gonna power cycle this thing. Well, I found out what the weird artifacts was coming from. It actually turned out to be a defective HDMI extension cable that I got. I got a different cable, and now the picture is great. So. Let's run some benchmarks. Oh. Oh. Shit. We all saw that coming, right? Well, that was a pretty cool experiment. Um, I think I was expecting better with it uh, running cooler. It was cool that it actually worked and I did it without breaking it. Um, the weird artifacts, I thought I did something, probably messed it up, maybe had something cranked down too tight. Turned out it was just bad HDMI cable, so can't go wrong with that there. I really was hoping for a better score than 103 on the Cinebench. So, hmm, that's a shame. Though, no regrets. That was a lot of fun and kind of cool to do. Well, I guess for now, I'm going to clean this mess up. I got a huge mess to clean up. And then I'm going to put it back together and use a better thermal paste um, with the heat sink that comes with it and see if the temperatures run any better. And if I'm lucky enough, I might be able to still maintain the 100 plus on the sign bench. But I'm really not holding out a whole lot of hope on that. So I guess we'll see how well that actually performs. See if I can get it back together. And if it still works when I do. 
Well, thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, click the subscribe button. And be on the lookout for the second part of this experiment where I see if I can put it all back together in the case and not break anything and see if it still works. And instead of using the thermal pad, I'm going to use actual good thermal paste and see what happens with the temperatures. All right, I'll catch you guys on the next video.